Rachel, please, could you tell us a little bit about how breathtaking came about? In the early days of the pandemic, it was really scary for staff and I started writing almost therapeutically. It was just my own diary, private thoughts. And then gradually as the pandemic went on, I realised that I was documenting something very important, which was my first hand experience, this testimony um, of the pandemic as it unfolded as an NHS doctor. I realised I wanted to share this with the public. It, it mattered, it was important. The opportunity to turn the memoir into a series with Jed Mercurian was just a dream. It was a dream come true. Uh, how did that opportunity arise? The third uh, co-author of the scripts is uh, someone called Prasanna Puan Raja, who, uh, like Jed, used to be a doctor before he moved into film and TV. And he uh, taught me when I was a medical student so for years we had talked about working together and he, Jed and I sat down and immediately knew that the NHS's experience of Covid was the story we wanted to tell. And what do you hope that people will take away from seeing Breathtaking? What I hope we have achieved is taking the public by the hand and leading them into a world that otherwise would be completely alien. I think it is going to stop people in their tracks because that just hasn't been captured on screen before. I agree. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Yes. So what I would like to know is when you uh, first read the scripts mm -hmm. for Breathtaking, what did you make of them? I was just sort of stopped in my tracks, actually. I can't remember a time where I've actually shed a tear just reading a script in, in my head, and I did reading Breathtaking. Brought about this sort of sense of, how could I have not known this as well? This sort of sense of, um, not shame, but sort of disappointment in myself that I'd not taken a closer look those people that were frontline NHS who were keeping us safe, who were keeping us well, or trying their best to, and the sacrifices they made. And I just thought, I have to be a part of telling the story. If there is one thing that you have now taken away, what is it? We need to protect the workers in the NHS. We need to support them through their journey, navigating what comes after COVID, whether that be long COVID or mental health issues from you know, being such a, a frontline part of the pandemic, just to remind people of that, remind everyone and, and ourselves how, how fortunate we are to have the NHS and how we need to take care of it. And we need to nurture it so it can nurture us. Mm -hmm. What have you taken away, Rachel, from the experience of making the series on top of your lived experience of the pandemic? It's been completely incredible to work with literally a cast and crew of hundreds of people to bring breathtaking the television series into the world and I think in a way for me that's been a little microcosm of the immense teamwork that as an NHS doctor I was a part of in Covid. It's also about people coming together and following their instincts, which by and large, in overwhelming numbers of people, are good and decent. When the pandemic began, we all rolled up our sleeves and tried to help each other. People came together in incredible ways, because actually, when a nation is in crisis, by and large, people are decent. And it was a real honour to try and show that on screen. And I know that for me, the experience of working as an NHS doctor in COVID, and now again, showing it on television, just reminds me that we're only as strong as we are as a group, as a collective. You get through a pandemic together, you make a TV drama together, the best things in life you do together. And I don't want to ever forget that. Beautifully cut. Dr. Abby Henderson, Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Rachel Clark. <laughs>